All right, now we're going to make cornbread sausage stuffing. All right. You said a bunch of people have asked about that one, right? Yep, they have. So we're going to do this. It's it's a it's not tra it's it's kind of traditional, but kind of not because I it's too plain without some kind of flavor in there. Yeah. So we got to add some little flavors to it to make it taste better. We'll see how it turns out. We start this up. Get our skillet. And this is a skillet. I, I cooked some um, sage flavored sausage a little while ago, about a half a pound of sage flavored sausage. Because sage is the main flavor that we, that to me is Thanksgiving. So I cooked this sausage, crumbled that up, and I left the pan drippings in there. So I threw in two tablespoons of butter. So we're going to use that, the drippings, and the butter to saute off uh, a whole onion that I've diced up and a stalk of celery that I've diced okay. up. Okay. So we got a little bit of combination of flavors there so we can have some vegetables in it and i touched my glasses oh no let me wash my hands because i don't want to break the rules yeah there you that's why you hang that on your shoulder yep i wouldn't go Dude, we got we got white aprons today because oh that's right i didn't wash the other ones where'd you find these at? i got these at walmart really walmart sells these yeah we need their little logo on here we got a pen <laughs> 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 All right, those are going. Our butter's melted. Yeah, it's starting to sizzle. So we're gonna put in a whole onion and uh, one stalk of celery, sliced up thin. Get that in there and let that start working. Cause we want this to get cooked in and get softened up and translucent. You know my favorite Thanksgiving joke. What's it's that? The knock knock joke. Okay. So it's that knock knock. Who's there? Normally. Normally who? Normally, I don't eat this much. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lie. <laughs> well, we always eat this much. <laughs> I use that when I'm somewhere else, not at the oh, house. Oh, not around anybody yeah. we know. Like around strangers? Yeah. After, what, are you, what are you doing around strangers on Thanksgiving? Well, you got to eat here. Or you're just then, wandering from house to house, <laughs> going door to door in the neighborhood. I act pitiful and they invite me yeah. in. Being an old senior and being alone, I could yeah. sure use somebody to invite me in and feed me. Yep. My fourth meal of the day. Man, I remember that when I was young. Newlywed, you'd have to eat. Oh. Happy Thanksgiving with your parents, then you right. have to go eat Thanksgiving with her parents. Right. Oh my God. And gosh. sometimes they have, oh, we go to Grandma's house oh, yeah. over here and Grandma's house. So they oh, may have two yeah. stops to go through as well. So oh, you, that's. You could be doing three or four or five of these things. And then they're all offended if you don't eat their food. Right. But, You've, you've made a bad impression, so. So right off the bat, you got this whole oh. scheduling issue. Oh, it's trying awful. to get it all squeezed in. That's awful. That's why I'm not married anymore. Is that why it is? <laughs> Thanksgiving was too much. Too much stress. <laughs> stress me too much too stress. much. Yeah. And yeah, that's the real reason. That's, that's the whole problem. It's that Thanksgiving pressure. It, yeah. The pressure is too much. So you got to be able to deal with that if you're going to be married. Yeah. What are you looking for now here? What do you need? Well, I just want to get this translucent so it's, okay. it's softened up a little bit. They're then you're going to want what? Then we're going to get it over here. We're going to need that uh, that bowl over there, a small bowl. Um, the empty one? Yeah, the empty one. Oh. All right. Yeah, stuffing. You know, people make fun of you, but, you know, I, I, when I go out to eat somewhere, because you can get some really bad stuffing. Oh, yeah. And I'm always like, man, I just hope it's just, uh, what's it, stove, stove top stuffing. I'm yeah. happy with stove top. Well, you probably won't eat this, so, I mean, yeah. I'll, I'll go ahead and put that out there. Because this has got a lot of flavor to it. Yeah, and I'll a, try it. And a lot of unusual flavors. Oh. But they're really good. So, yeah. I think we're good with that. I think that's cooked enough, so we're going to kill this off. Uh, we're done with that. Move that bad boy over. All right. All right, so we're good there. On this, we're going to take and get us two eggs. And I smells good. Yeah, but onions smell good. Well, that's the thing is, anytime you're you're cooking onions, man, you're off to a good start. Your oh, whole house think, smells so much better. And your clothes smell like onions. The only downside. Uh, don't bother me. I like the smell. So yeah. it's like. Anybody don't like onions, probably don't want to hang around me. I went to Dom Pablo's one night, and I was the last customer in there. Took a couple guys that work for us. Right. And um, they ended up bringing out 
on the, you know how Don Pablo has those little skillet things that are sizzling. Little fajita skillet fajita things? Skillet. And we have fajitas. And I said, I like my onions well done, like well, well done. You right. Know? And so they brought them out and they were like kind of rawish. And they're really? cooking on that thing. And so if you can imagine, those raw onions are cooking and that's just pumping out. Oh my gosh. So man, I was you were engulfed. Going- are, like are in permeated a, with in a onion fog smell. of onion smell. And, and, and I mean, it was everywhere. And so as soon as I got home and it was a two-hour drive, I'm smelling myself. It's like, man, I stink like onions. And the other guys were laughing, and it was like they did too, so there wasn't much to laugh about. But when I got home, I had to take a shower because it smelled so bad. I really? thought, man, my, my sheets will smell like this. <laughs> that's, you make it sound like that's a bad thing. Yeah, I'm not a... I like onions, all right. Fajitas, i got to have some onions with them. Onions, oh, God. Yes. I just like the meat... Onions and cheese, nothing else. On that little tortilla thing, if that's right. what they're called. Yeah. But onions do, they smell good. All right, so on this we're going to, we've got two eggs that I've just beaten. And I'm going to put in two tablespoons. Okay. Tablespoons, the big ones. All right. Of sage. You know, I really got to watch that if I'm, if I'm writing the recipe. Which is tea and which is table. Yeah. yeah. TB is for table. Yeah, I, I, I figured right. that. The other one didn't have a B in it. This is a lot of sage, so if you're not a big fan of sage, you probably want to cut this back a little bit. But to me, that's what makes it Yeah. Thanksgiving. Well, well if nothing else, I'll burn mine and <laughs> you can, well, waft it. You can charge people to wander <laughs> around near you. And then we're going to add in here, what did I say, two, two cups? I think it was two cups. Yeah, two cups of chicken broth. What was that beach I was on that I said where the guy was beach. filming? Venice Beach. Yeah. Man, what a freak show. I hate oh, to be it is. mean, but it's, golly, what a freak it's not, show. not our kind of place, I wouldn't tell Oh, my Lord. I was never overly impressed with Venice Beach. And they got all those vendors. It's like a, a hippie flea market. It's, it was creepy. So put one in. But, but I don't know. if it, Have you been there? Yeah. Okay. Did, when you were there, did it have the basketball courts? No, I don't know. They had remember. basketball court, but it was the temporary, the interlocking ones that are plastic. Oh, the thing. That dribble good. They actually do. Oh, really? But they had some serious ballers, because I'm checking it out, and I'm thinking, hey, man, I might get in one of these games. Right. Uh, but I didn't have any high tops, you know, so I was a little concerned. And I really yeah, didn't want to go to the ER while I'm out there, because I'm out right. there on business. Um, but yeah, they had some really good ball players. I just... It... Well, Venice Peach, that place is all about show. That's their whole thing, is everybody that goes there is going to show off Yeah, that I can see. Well, I couldn't believe people still, uh, they, they had some people that were uh, doing the rollerblade thing, but they right. had a lot of people on roller skates, and it's like, really? who, I didn't even know they still sold still roller skates. That? I didn't but know yeah, people it, still did that. It was interesting. All right, so we've got the two eggs that we beat, two tablespoons of the sage, and then two cups of the chicken broth. Now, over here, what I'm bringing into it is, this was, I made one of our white cornbreads. Just the way we made the last one. Yep. And did it in the skillet, the 10 inch skillet, made it up. If you look at our recipe, that'll tell you exactly how much to make. You make it up. You get it out, let it cool, and crumble it up. And this is the one time where if it it tears on the top, you really don't care. Oh. Because you're gonna crumble it up. Yeah. So what we're doing here is we're gonna take this and we're going to add in, oh, there's a couple other ingredients that I've got set off to the side. Over here, I have that sausage I mentioned that I cooked. You see that there? Oh yeah. And I got a chicken liver, or some chicken livers. Oh, I, I love chicken livers. I know. Do you got any more? I got a whole, I didn't make them all. I, oh man. I just boil these off. Oh. Well, let's wrap this up. I want some fried want chicken some livers, chi- man. <laughs> we can do that again. <laughs> We've done that before, we can do yeah, it again. I love chicken livers. I'm going to, uh, that's about, that's about a cup, isn't it? That's a cup. So that, yeah. So that's, I'm just putting in a cup of chicken livers and then eight ounces of sausage. Let's get that in there. Yeah, that's, that's a cup. Well, that's a blend. Yeah, it's not the th- it's not what you would think. And a lot of people okay. may be going, this just sounds weird. Yeah. I'll, and, I'll, and it does sound kind of weird. And we're going to add in, let me grab, bu- 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 where did I put my oven mitt? Just need one of these mitts of some sort. We're going to take this right here. And we're going to get this in there. So we're going to get all of our onions Man. and the celery. What's well, good? Your sausage is all smoking hot right now. Well, you got to let it cool down a little bit. So that's what's 
keeping the temperature down yeah. so we're not getting it too hot. Man, you're going to have some flavor for sure. Well, that's the whole point. Is I don't like things that don't have a ton of flavor. And I know I'm doing this the wrong way because the camera's looking at the other side of it. And I apologize yeah. for that. But Well, I don't show that camera. There you go. It's now a you secret. Enjoy. It's a secret. <laughs> yeah. So we got that in there. So what I'm going to do now, this is kind of messy. I'm going to have to do it the old-fashioned way. i got to fold Mix it, it up in before I put the other end. Otherwise, we'll never get it straight. I don't want to be too wet. And I'm, what I'm thinking is I'm going to put this right back into that skillet because it's still good. Oh, yeah. That saves me having to make another dish because i got enough dishes going on here. I don't like too many dishes, as you well know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But you can see, we're getting all the it's stuff. all blended in. up. So that's, he had a little top secret thing going on so they couldn't see it. That's nice. Yeah. Well, that's, that's on the member side where you pay oh, yeah. for admission. <laughs> Hey. That's where we have the thongs on. <laughs> you have to pay not to have to look at that. Yeah. That's why we're wearing these bibs. I mean, yeah. uh, aprons. 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 I get corrected all the time because I say bibs. All right, so that's pretty good. We got that pretty well yep. mixed up. Now we're going to feed this in here. Oh, look at that. Now I'm going to stop using my hands. Yeah, that's going to be messy. It's I'm a little bit messy. That. But it's... What we'll do is I want to make sure it's not too wet, not too dry. So we want to get enough of a blend there so that, and we can add more. So that's the other thing is after we throw it in the oven, if it looks too dry, we can put another cup in there. Cause I, I, I'd said on the recipe, like two to three cups, but I don't like to go too wet to start with. Yeah. Cause then it can get to be a problem. Yeah. You can always add liquid later. Right. Especially yeah. you keep an eye on this cause you don't want it to dry out. But yep. you don't want it being like totally wet in there. Yeah, I've, I've had that issue before. Like, uh, I like pork chops, but I, I like to, you know, fry them, and then I like to get them nice and set. But then I like to put my um, stuffing all around them in a pan and, right. and bake them further in the oven so they're just falling apart. So but yeah, you really got to watch because that that stuffing will dry out real fast. Oh my gosh! And then uh, yeah, you, you have it there. I, I liked it because it caught up some of the liquid away from the pork chops but uh, right but yeah it can go go bad for you and this is a combination of a, a number of recipes I've looked at over the years and have changed up and tried different things and and you may not like it you may like it I don't know we'll I'll, give you the, I'll be the judge on this one but you can see it it's and that fits in there pretty nicely it does and you could you couldn't cook what it. What size is twelve? This is a twelve inch skillet. Yeah, you can cook it in one of them, uh, one of them baking dishes or whatever. It's up to you. Whatever you want to do you with it. Cook everything and I like skillets. Cast iron man, it's just good. I, so this will give us a nice little crunch all around the edge too. It should. That's yeah. that's what I'm hoping is it, it, it'll dry it out enough so that you've got some crunch. You've yeah. got some of the wet parts. See, not that's, wet, wet. But that's when I fix my stuffing. I love it in cast iron because yep. I want that edge. It's almost like yeah. It's like redoing that um, cornbread all over right, again, right. but flavor it all up. I, right. I do like it. Yeah, I think it, this is going to be good. Yeah. And I'm going to put this, excuse me, into a 350 oven. It's probably going to be about a half hour. So we'll just kind of keep an eye on it. So this is like twice baked cornbread, like twice baked potatoes. Yeah, exactly. It is. Yeah. So, but if you get it too wet, then it turns into like a cornbread mush. Yeah, yeah, mush. Yeah, it's yeah. not good. No. So we'll take a little break and we'll come back when we pull out. We're getting ready to pull this bad boy out. It's been, what, about 45 minutes now. Hope this uh, is good. Long. I hope it's not going to be or else we, we'll be doing the same thing. Pull! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's not, it's not good. Not good. Yeah, so. It's like one of those, uh, what are they called? Those discs? Uh, clay? Clay pigeons? Clay pigeons. Skeet shooting. That's Skeet what it's shooting. called. Skeet shooting. That's it. Now, so we'll find out if this is good. That's the one thing you'll get with us. We'll, we'll tell, we'll you, tell you, you. If it sucks, it sucks. All right, so you want to, let's just get... Here's a low spot. Take a low spot? Yeah. So we're going to get... So we like the... I'm making a Ooh. mess here. Yeah, give me some of that crunchy part underneath. Right around the edge, man. Like right there. I want that stuff. Just, oh, this shit is hot. Damn. Yeah. All right. Well, that's got a little sausage on it. I want to try that one. I want... I'll get a little bit of this, too. Sausage here. Is it good? Oh, it's horrible. 
That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. I would have. No, uh, you don't like this. Yeah, that's not bad. No, it's really pretty good. It really is. We added oh. a little bit more, um, a little bit more uh, chicken broth. Chicken broth to it as it was going through. Yeah. Because I don't want it too dry. I'm dropping this shit everywhere. You know what it needs? More broth. No, no, it needs a. I like gravy on my. You can put gravy stuffing. on this. I, but you can't really taste it. Excuse me. If yeah. you got if you got gravy on it, you want to taste to see that the. I, I like the, tasting the, the gravy, the season, man. The seasoning I put, is fine. I cover my turkey with gravy, my mashed potatoes with gravy, and this with gravy. Well, that's no good. No, it's good. It's you very good taste that way. The food. No, I like gravy, so. This is good and crunchy. I like the edges. That that sausage, I thought it was going to be terrible. No, the sausage is great in there. And the combination of the oh, sausage. Oh, I just had some liver. And the liver. It works good together, doesn't it? Yeah. It really does. I thought it, uh, to be honest, and I'm, and. and you were skeptical. I thought it was going to be. Uh, Weird taste. Horrible. I thought it would be. Right. You know, see if the cat will eat it. But it is actually, uh, actually good. Like I say, you, you differ than me, but whatever. But right. uh, gravy, man, needs the gravy. It's good, mm. though. It's, it's good. It's good. I thought uh, I thought it would be a little dry, too, and it's not. No, it's not like I just dry. had a, like the bite I just took was really super moist. Right. Well, that's, again, you know, I, I put the, and you can put as mm. much, just don't overdo it because you're going to end up messing it up if you're yeah. not careful to get too much liquid in there. Yeah, it's pretty good. I'm going to grab another little piece here. Sorry. No, it's really good. I like it. It's it's one of those that no, the, I, the flavor I, the profile is really good. I um, I was mm. expecting the two thumbs down deal, but right. uh, no. let's wrap it. But it's good. Very good. I'm so pleasantly surprised. Mm -hmm. yeah, the I'm, sausage I'm, is good, too. It is? It? It's really... What kind of sausage is that? It was Weber's. That? It was Weber's uh, Man, I got this right now. sausage. Yeah, it's really um, good. Yeah. The sausage. I'm mm. going to buy that sausage from now. I want to go get sausage because... I, I like Bob Evans, but I do too. This is so much better. Bob Evans, the the worst part about it is they don't have enough fat in there. Right. This this had, didn't have a ton of fat, but there was they, enough. They have more. They had more than uh, the Bob sage. Evans. Well, the, and it's got that sage, and I like that. It, I was afraid it was going to be too much sage, but it's not. It's there's yeah. just enough to give you. Uh, the kids ate it, and they were like, "Oh, this is pretty good." So, yeah, uh, I was like, because I was wanting to do. Uh, somebody's asking if we do another thing with sausage gravy. And I thought, man, we got to find something that's got uh, a little more, uh, a little more fat in there. Fat, yeah. Right. So I guess let's wrap this up. I, I definitely, yeah. Yeah. two thumbs up on this one. Yeah. It, it's really good. I didn't expect it. Uh, I thought livers and and sausage and sausage. I thought this is going to be a this bust. Be, yeah, it's going to be a bad but, surprise. Surprise. No, it's actually no really I, good. I'm sure you'll be. Having I don't think this. you'd be disappointed if you if you if you like country flavors. It's country. It's country. It is absolutely right because you use what you got always. Right. And. Uh, I think it worked. I think it worked. I liked it a lot. Yep. All right. Great. Thank you. Thank you.